So that was quite an intro, but continuing on with the ever so lovely tradition of really, really damn expensive games on the PlayStation 2, especially in the horror category anyways, this is Kuon. Uh, I believe it means infinity or otherwise in Japanese, though I'll probably have to look that up more later. But if you haven't noticed, uh, this game is actually from the guys that made The Adventures of Cookie and Cream. And by that I mean, yeah, people know who From Software is at this point. Armored Core, uh, Dark Souls, Elden Ring, those guys. Before they ever even made Dark Souls, they actually made a few horror games. Uh, specifically, Kuon here, as being one of the, not first, but later, uh, Echo Knight actually came out first, and Echo Knight 2, and Echo Knight Beyond. So, they were a bit experienced in horror at this point. They haven't really touched it in a while, but they have done horror. And it's really interesting that they actually did. So, we're going to be playing the Yin phase first. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what all this game does like what changes or anything with the phases but i know you can play through both of them so you have the yin and the yang phase and we're going to be playing on insomnia because that's the quote-unquote normal difficulty and it will turn up the brightness just a teeny bit because of recording so we have text that scrolls by like star wars dear utsuki I have been summoned by the Lord, who resides in the manor. I shall be gone for a time. The Lord is acquiring my prayers and skills. He is convinced that his manor is cursed. I believe he has an overly vivid imagination. Most likely, he saw a rat and mistook it for a creature of the other world. At least, that is what I think. I shouldn't be away for very long, but take care of the shrine in my absence. You must not forget to take care of the silkworms. Also, I'm worried about Kareha's health. Please watch over her. So we have a bit of exposition in the beginning. Uh, not a shit ton, but a bit. And now we're going to the manor gate. So I will say, as far as things go, I am kind of terrified at the difficulty in this game. I don't know how difficult it will be. Just because from software's reputation for uh in this place basically holding the mantle of get good <laughs> so yeah this could yes, be either sure really can. good or me dying if 700 so, times I am sure we'll find we're out where gonna find out but hopefully this was before they decided to absolutely crank out the difficulty that rolls my ass anyways i know there's people that you know can easily go through those games like nothing but me personally yeah no i got i got my ass whooped like all over the place up and down the block by bosses and dark souls i think ornstein and smo probably took me out like at least a good 50 times and then the Nameless King also took my ass out, like, at least a good 50-plus times. It was 
terrible. <laughs> In case you're ever wondering. <laughs> and I just don't really go for those games anymore. What happened? I tend to try and play things where I can enjoy it and not <laughs> die an exorbitant amount of times. I do like challenging games, but that's just not my ballpark anymore. And I can see why people like them. People like a really hard challenge, so I'm not saying they're bad games. I'm just saying they're not for me. So, we start off... We have a little knife that we can use. We're also kind of slow, but this guy is just kind of tracking along the place with us. Which is kind of odd, but you can do him. And we can also run, but uh, something about running in this game is apparently it attracts enemies more easily. And if we hit situations like this, it says, Tempest, some areas have a large amount of negative energy. This includes revenge, murder, grudges. If too much has been accumulated, then a tempest of negativity may occur. If a Tempest is encountered while running, you may experience vertigo. So yeah, if we're running whenever an event like that happens, we can actually get really, really blurry screen syndrome. So we kind of don't want that to happen, but that's basically the only event that I know of that happens. Uh, as per usual, I played the game a little bit, test it out, get the settings right, that sort of thing. But, yeah. We may be running into stuff like that more often than I would care for. We also have Meditate. Physical and mental energy are re renewed and vertigo is relieved through meditation. Meditation requires complete concentration and summoned servants will be dismissed. So, meditation is kind of like our healing, I would guess? And also our psych renewal, like, I guess you could say. There's like a psychological kind of thing. But it also has downsides, so we can't just spam it as much as we want. But we do have it. See, metal, sp metal spike, demon suppressing spike. And I'm just going to kind of be learning things as we go, because, like I said, never really played this game too far. Silkworm disc. Wooden disc decorated with silkworm carving. But yeah, this game, whenever it first came out, didn't really have a whole lot of marketing or anything going for it, so it didn't really sell well. And the mulberry tree is illuminated from below. But this game didn't really sell well. Uh, and it is exceedingly expensive these days if you want to get a copy. Like, this may very well be one of the most expensive games on the PlayStation 2. Do you want to get the item? Yes. Manor map. Map of the manor. Well, that's a given. And a scroll survival one unsigned scroll. Basic survival. Do not run. Be as quiet as possible. If you make any noise, a gaki will detect your presence. And then just to show it off, the statue head falls out. But we do have a little knife for defending ourselves for the time being. Again, I'm kind of learning as we go because I don't know exactly how this stuff works. So, but yeah, to continue on. This game is probably one of the most expensive games that you can find for the PlayStation 2. I don't know if it exactly lines up with From Software's Dark Souls being really, really well liked. The corpse is drenched in blood. But I don't know if it has to do with Dark Souls being a really well liked and well received kind of game series. I would assume that has something to do with it, but at the same time, this game didn't have a a lot of production and didn't have a lot of marketing so it didn't really sell well whenever it came out so it is very hard to find a copy and it's even harder to find a good copy that's not going to cost you an arm and a leg 
like it is pretty ridiculous honestly how much this game can sell for anymore and I do have a copy but I got it like quite a while ago also yeah there's gonna be some jump scares but nothing too extreme don't know where the dude was hanging at though if he was like on the bamboo I don't know how he would have fallen like that that's weird Let's see, purpled covered book. Purpled covered book emitting a foul odor. Lovely. The residents of the manor are disappearing and not one of them has returned alive. Sometimes their corpses are discovered and they are always horrible to behold. Some of them were killed with bamboo spears. Others were discovered under the eaves, but were unrecognizable. Only bits of their flesh remained. I too may suffer that same fate. Yeah, I'm gonna go with you probably did, considering that's probably yours. So, you might be dead. It also tells us not to run, so I don't really want to go booking it everywhere. Like, basically if From Software tells me something, like, don't run immediately, my first instinct is to do exactly as they say, because usually, in their newer games anyways, if they tell you not to do something and you do it, you get your ass whooped. So, I'm not exactly in the mood to find out, like, fuck around and find out. There's a knotted rope next to the corpse. The rope extends into the hole, where could it lead? Soon we'll find that out later. Ah oh, yes, and these creepy ass kids. That's nice, but it sounds like something's walking off screen. Aiko is the last one living. But is she still really alive? I have no idea what that means, but it's very foreboding. And kids in horror games are creepy as shit. Lady Fujiwara Memorandum. Note addressed to Lady Fujiwara. Milady. <laughs> Lady. I have placed the remaining wooden discs in the manor small shrine and in the altar. Don't worry about the two spikes. I have entrusted them to Miss Ayako and to the seer who's here inspecting the manor. The two of us are going to hide in the garden. Please take care of yourself. So if we need wooden discs, it's in the manor small shrine and in the altar. If we need two spikes, Miss Ayako and seer are the two. Gotcha. Something must have jumped into the pond, but it's too dark to tell. And the twins are kind of just going about. And there's freaky ass shadows. And this guy. We do have like a pseudo combo system in a way. Like we can swing the knife twice if we push fast enough. So I'm going to try and do that as much as possible. Well, all we have is this knife. And we do have this. Seal Venus has been placed on the door. Well, that's nice, but I don't think I can open that. And then whatever this dude is doing, he actually, I think, just follows me. Interesting. Some tells me if we run there, we're going to get attacked. So, don't want to do that. Sounds like a bad plan. But yeah, other than the little bit of history I know about this game, I really can't say much. Oh yeah, that was supposed to scare me, I guess. Ah, uh, sorry. I <laughs> I don't really get too startled very easily with stinger jump scares or stuff like that. But yeah, besides the little bit of history that I know with this game, I don't know a whole lot else with it, in all honesty. A card slick with blood is lying here. Spell card, Hibari. Fiery arrows piercing an enemy. So, yeah. In this game, we do have the knife, but we also have a From Software kind of specialty in which we have spell cards, or spells, I guess, just in general. There remains of a previous cleansing ritual here. Saving data. After investigation of the lamp and rock located on the shore is complete, you may save your game data. Vessel is required in order to save game data. Perform the cleansing ritual? 
Sure, let's see what happens. I guess I should check how many slots it gives me, too. Because I'm kind of curious. Like, hang on, let me just check how many slots we get. Eight? Yeah, that's fine. That's a decent amount. I like games whenever they give you a lot of save slots. Air is drifting out from the shrine. Could there be an open space inside it? Probably. I would assume this is where we use that silkworm disc. Holes could be covered if the wooden discs could be found. Operate the device. Shrine puzzle. Once the three wooden discs and three spikes have been attached to the proper places, the shrine door will open. Attach wooden discs by placing by pressing the D-pad to select a hole and X to confirm. If you make a mistake, press circle to go back. When discs are spiked, conceal the openings. Where could the silkworm disc be attached to? That's a good question, because I have no damn clue. Huh. Some tells me it would be like right here. Because spider whatever like I can I think that's a snake down there like it's silkworm spider rat snake I think at, along the right there are not enough discs a spike and disc obtained well, I guess we can't really do anything with it anyways but yeah basically I don't really know a whole lot about this game like story anything so i'm going into this really blind corpse's eyes are wide open that's lovely not freaky at all so apparently we need to find a small shrine as well as a miss ayako or a seer to get our materials like it said in the note but yes i am going in as blind as pretty much humanly possible except for the game company's history I oh well that body's gone let's go see where it went trail ends at the water lovely for a second there I thought I saw something in the water I think that's just fog oh that's cool I have little bloody footprints too whenever I step in blood and leave it nice detail love that but yeah besides the game company's history I have zero clue i know i'm gonna keep saying that because i keep getting distracted but i don't have any clue on this game's story like at all it's apparently very heavily japanese like storytelling inspired which yeah go figure but it has been quite a time since this game released it released in 2004 so who knows we might actually get some idea of what the hell is happening and that actually looks like our yin phase girl so this should be interesting well that's a badass looking dog anybody else kind of getting vicar amelia vibes are you all right Though I would assume with From Software yes, that they probably so. have some kind of basis for what their stuff is from. I am Utsuki. I live in the shrine, not far from here. I'm Sakuya. What are you doing here? I'm looking for my father. God, their blinking He's is just really weird, priest, though. Of the shrine. My sister and Although the face modeling and stuff for the PlayStation 2 around 2004 when this released is pretty fucking good. It's not safe to be alone here. Like, really good, honestly. I, wish I could help you find your sister, but it's kind of here, take this. It will help you. It's kind of give and take that their mouths don't move. Like that's kind of meh, but huh? Wait, the fact that they blink is pretty cool. One father uses. Your father is the priest, correct? she got going on on her chest she's got like a symbol there here take this my father gave this to me you may find it useful 
did this girl just give us spells and we gave her a bloody rag back? I don't think that's a fair trade. Be careful. I will. And thank you. I think we just cheated her. Uh, let's see. Spell card Hibari fires arrows piercing an enemy. Yeah. And then summon card Sute Gumo. Arachnid type creature which slows movement. With slow movement, not which slows movements. Okay. Summon card Saiga. Wolf that fiercely protects his master. Let's see. Cards. Cards can be equipped from the main menu. Cards can be used at any time. Press select to view the main menu. Sure, let's see. Uh, cards, I assume, would be under equipment. Equipment, card, and weapon selection. Press triangle or square. Oh, when triangle or square is equipped with a card, you can use it at any time by pressing the button. When a button not assigned to a card is pressed, a standard weapon attack is performed. So if we don't have a card there, we don't end up using it okay so now we don't attack with our knife we just fire the arrow because we have the cards okay were there spider webs in this tree before I feel like no but I also am not the best with detail oh this is another save point okay so we need to find spikes and the wooden, uh, what you call it, discs, to open that shrine is apparently our first order of business. Do we have a map? We should. I did pick it up. Maps obtained throughout the game can be viewed here. Press up to display your character's look, or the, the, the arrow displays your character's location press up but okay so that'd probably be our shrine that we're looking for with the stuff so I guess we'll just head this way to the shrine which thankfully it's just this way and this door is creepy opened so we're probably gonna have a fight on our hands after we just got the cards and stuff Mutilated Gaki lies here. It looks like one hell of a fight. Probably. The hell is that? Another guy? Now, this game is pretty dark, too. It isn't moving. It appears dead. That one doesn't appear dead. He's just moving. But, yeah. I'm going to assume we're going to have a fight on our hands. Okay, then. That was... Let me just do this real quick. <laughs> Freaked out for a second. Meditated. It was K. Had oranges. These cards are used to cast magic spells. Each card can be used only once. Well, let's give him another one. Man, that's kind of weak. Oh, shit. We have to aim it manually. Okay. Seems like there's a teeny bit of a lock on, but not a whole lot. Holy water healing deep wounds, leaving no scars. So if I do this, it said I should physically heal too, right? She was holding her chest before, so I assume that's how we kind of check our HP. Seal Mercury has been placed on the door. Lovely. Honestly, it seems like our knife might be better in the beginning here. But if we need the option, we can use the spells. So I'm just gonna... Maybe. How do I... 
equip. Can I just not equip nothing? Oh, wait, I see it. Remove. Okay. So we'll just do like this for now. Or maybe this so we can have a spider companion summon. This dude looks like he was dragged out from under the house. That's odd. It isn't moving. It appears dead. Like, he looks like he got dragged out from the bottom of the house. Was he killed under it and then dragged out? Or... You know, given that this thing is set up with, like, this at the centerpiece, I want to say that this is probably where we need to go. Maybe. It might just be blocked. Stairway is blocked by rubble. Oh! Man, I already... I have plenty of problems with small shit that impedes a character in games, but... Come on. It's three sticks tied together. Like... You can fucking move it. You can step over it. You can honestly do a lot of things to get past three sticks. <laughs> like, Jesus. Kareha's note. Note left for Kareha dated two weeks ago. I will be away for some time. If something strange happens, proceed to the manor. I'll prepare many victims for you to... Excuse me? What? for you to merge with. Um. Sister into some kinky shit? What's going on here? What's she merging with? What exactly is going to happen there? That's odd. Although, leave it to Japan to leave me scratching my head. Which is why I love these games. On all honesty, they're weird, but that's kind of what I like. Seal Saturn has been placed on the door. So we've had Mercury, Saturn, uh, Venus. Nothing to check there, I guess. Where exactly am I looking here? Let's check the map real quick. This is the West Guard House. That's Ayako's room, so we could probably check there. And to a fishing hut, I guess? Do they mark the locked doors and stuff? Yeah, they do. It shows you blocked paths. That's cool. We've got like a Silent Hill-esque kind of thing going on. Where it shows us what's blocked, where, with what. Whatever six means, I guess. I would assume it means six seals because there were six of them. But at the same time, not really sure. Again, I'm not really running all over the place because I don't know what that will do to me. Scroll Survival 2, Unsigned Scroll. Advanced Survival, if you are attacked, struggle. Struggle with all your might. Hit all the buttons whenever attacked, got it. That's usually what I do anyways. Vessel, realistic icon used to cleanse oneself. Oh shit, so we have a limited amount of saves. Hang on, let me... You can view an item of all. You can view an inventory of all the items you have attained. Various items can be used, including ones that restore health. Yeah, so we have a limited amount of saves, and I've already used one, so. Oops! <laughs> Are we sure we want to open that? Some sort of device on the wall. Operate device. I mean, sure, why not? The door is just banging away. Seer's symbol. In order to open the door, all three discs have to be positioned correctly. Rotate left or right. Move the center disc first, press the D-pad to rotate a disc left or right, and press X to confirm. If you make a mistake, press circle to undo. Oh, shit. I have no fucking clue what I am even looking at. Kind of looks like the Big Dipper, honestly. Yeah. This... Hang on. I think I see it now. But where do I want these to point? Like, where do I want the middle to point? Because the way I see it right now, these symbols match up with the two on the outside, but where do I want them... 
the main to point? Is it... Hang on. This should point to... I think this one? No, I don't think that's right. Hang on. If I'm seeing it right anyways, I think we want the outsides to match with the... Uh, what you call it? The outside plates? Maybe? The insides kind of match, though. But how does this... work? Like, is the weird thing. That is... something else right there. I would assume we probably want the middle to point that way, but at the same time, I have no clue at all what the hell I'm looking at. So we should probably just leave that for the time being and try and figure out something that we need to do with it. Guardian dog. Guardian dog statue, small but heavy. Okay. Or anything else in this room door just gonna keep doing its own thing yeah can I open the door or do I need to use the device like is someone gonna attack me whenever I try door is uh, door is held closed by a device something is hiding inside okay well it can keep hiding inside that's fine because I really can't do anything with it I should probably also check what this dog does what the dog doing Silkworm disc, guardian dog. I guess that's just an item. We're going to have to figure out where the hell exactly it's used. Oh, something tells me this game is going to be a riot for figuring stuff out. Considering apparently it's very heavily, like, entirely in Japanese stuff and... I am not the biggest history buff whenever it comes to Japanese history, so it may seem like a fun time. Doors barred shut. That's good. Probably not, but hey, we're here. That's how it goes. 